Hi, this is Diane Chapman, and I just wanted to go through the Premier Plus Embroidery software and show you a couple things you can do with some of the main features. I have the Ultra version, but these main features are in the main module, so no matter what version you have, you should have these, I believe. This is the, the home menu, and in the wizard, this is the one I use a lot, the photo stitch, taking pictures of canine heroes and turning them into digitized stitch files. But this one's pretty cool. If you go to Super Design, they've given you tons of very cool embroidery designs in this version. There's borders, animals, all kinds of things that you can choose from. And when you do choose one of these categories, don't assume that just what you see in the display is all you get, because if you click the drop down launcher, you'll see there's several other items in the category. You can choose one. I like daisies, so I'll select that. You can set the size, different options here, and then click apply, and you'll get the item in the middle of your hoop. By the way, if you don't know how to choose a hoop, you can go here on the Home tab and choose the type and the hoop size. You can rotate it or enter in the exact size. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'm holding down the Control key and making it a little larger so we can see it better. And I can go into a line and center it back in my hoop. So definitely check out all these categories that are here. There's some really cool stuff and don't forget to click and see everything there is. So once you've selected something you like, you can go to Encore and multiply the item a lot easier than hitting Control C and Control V to copy and paste it. If you do, by the way, you'll see it down here on the clipboard. But you can use this Encore. So I'm going to use a circle and click Preview. And now I have a circle of daisies. There are six. I can change that to 12. Click Preview. If you want this to stick, you need to click Apply. Otherwise, you can cancel it. You can choose a shape see if there's some neat shape, a star maybe. All right, kind of works. You can see it's kind of into a star. Obviously, there'd be something better to choose for a star. Cancel it. And again, the drop down shows you all the different ways you can align it. You can also choose lines. So Say I want to do this, preview, it's a little wider, but once I applied it, I could rotate it. You can also have it go around the hoop if you want to put something in the middle. You've got some really cute border that you can make with any of these super designs. And over here, we'll show you how the items will be displayed. Now with this daisy, you can't really tell. So let me go back here to the animals and I'll choose a dog and I'll apply it. That's too big, so I'll hold down control and make it smaller so you could see. I'll go to Encore and I'll preview the dog. Okay, now you notice their faces are all the same direction. If I choose mirror and preview that, now every other one has turned so they're facing each other. So, and this design here will show you what you're going to get. So I'm going to cancel that. I'll go to home and align to put this guy in the middle. But I also want to show you something about resizing because this is important and I learned the hard way. I had a dog image that was full size and I shrunk it down small and it was so dense I had to throw it out because it was jamming up 
on the fabric. So what you want to do is go in and choose the item and use this resize. If you choose this, you'll notice the handles turn blue. Now watch this number over here. Right now, this is uh, 100,000 or 10,000 plus stitches. If I, I'm still going to hold control to keep the proportions horizontal and vertical. But if I resize it now, small, notice that it came down from 10,000 to 5,000. So it won't stitch out as dense. It has adjusted the stitches so it will still come out correct. And if you enlarge it, now it's up to 45,000 stitches. So it's keeping the density correct. But also notice that, let me get this centered again. But also notice here, when I zoom in, there's some gaps. Now, this happened to me with one of my canine images. It was large and it had, I was going to leave it large, but it had some gaps. So I actually wanted it to become more dense. So in this case, I will not choose the resize and I will use the standard resize. I still hold the control down and I will make it smaller and you'll see that it's still 45,000 stitches, but it's in a smaller area. So this is going to stitch out a little more dense. There's still a few lines there, but it's much more dense. And when it stitches out the stitches, there will be a lot of stitches in a small space. So they will be more condensed and there won't be so many gaps there. Also, I'll center this back. You can add lettering, but if you add the lettering without selecting the item, the lettering is going to go right in the center also. So you'd have to grab it, move it around, and you can also change the way it's displayed. I'll delete that one apply it again. You can make it larger or smaller. I'll delete that one and go back to the straight because I want to show you if you select the item and then type in the text and apply, the text will be applied underneath the item you've selected. So I can apply this. Oops, I didn't select it select it and apply and then German Shepherd Dog. While I still have the text selected and I type in new text and apply, it comes underneath that text. So rather than trying to center it yourself, if you just select an item, it will be applied within the area related to that item. And don't forget you have tons of fonts that you can choose from or you can create your own fonts using uh, fonts from your computer. You can also add frames and again tons and tons of frames. So you can add a frame and apply that around the item that you want and there are also borders. Now I haven't played with these borders too much, but they do have some neat motifs. You can add, say a heart and apply it. And that didn't work because I still had the stitch type selected. So let's go to motif select the hearts and click OK. Let's see if that works. There's the hearts. 
Now, like I said, I haven't worked on this one too much, but I do know that you can mirror them and get a couple of rows. And obviously that's not in the hoop. So I'd have to move things around. But you get the idea. I have to play around with this a little more. And the appliques, some of my friends are really good with this. I have not messed around with it. I just got my Viking Epic machine replaced after waiting six weeks for them to repair it. So I am trying to catch up on my Canine Hero pillows. Anyways, I just wanted to show you a couple of features that you can do here. And one of the other cool things, by the way, is you can use Git Length to see the length of something, 7.69 inches, if you needed to measure something. And also, if you're putting an embroidery on fabric or some type of item, this background wizard, I haven't messed with this much either, but it's pretty amazing because you can load the item and they've given you tons of things here. So you can load something here and you can see how it's going to look, say on a bib. By the way, right click to get rid of these options. So obviously this would not fit on a bib of this size, but it's pretty amazing all the backgrounds that they give you. Anyways, I haven't explored all these, but I just wanted to show you some of the features I have messed around with, and hopefully that'll help you learn a little more with your software.